Good evening, friends. Happy Tuesday. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday. Leave me alone. Didn't wear it for very long. But like, look how cute this is right now. So I got home from work, fed the babies, and came upstairs to like change clothes. And they all just followed me up here. We got Hux down there. Say hello, Millie. Uh, Kenobi over here. And then where'd Dooku go? I heard him. Boom. <laughs> Did you just attack my feet from down there? Oh, see you later. Like they just always want to be where you are. It's so cute. I love them so much. Check it out. I came downstairs to eat dinner and uh, one, two, and three. Always oh, gotta stay close. Pardon the noise, I've got the dishwasher running, but this rug, as you can see, has seen better days. Uh, Hux has torn it up right here. There's like a bleach stain on it. It's getting pretty ratty. It was like a cheap, very cheap Halloween rug from at home a couple years ago. So I think, I don't think, I actually know that now is the time to replace it because that ghost rug I had been on the lookout for and found it. So I'm gonna roll this up, clean the floor, and next time you see this kitchen, it will have a different rug. One far less ratty. Oh no. You guys fans all ratty? <laughs> we'll see how long this one lasts, but it sure is cute. Also, this took me forever. I went on kind of a tangent a little bit uh, excuse me, sir. Are you eating this already? No. May I have nice things, please? May I have nice things? I just organized under here. This was a hot mess. You didn't see the before. Nobody needed to see the before. But just know, I had a lot done unexpectedly today. So, yay, Jess. Also told you guys I'd keep you updated on this stuff. It's working pretty well so far. I don't feel as though this was a, I'm not gonna show you, it's gross. I don't feel like it was a total waste of money. I'm kind of a productive role today. So I've been like alternating, I'm cleaning and reading a chapter cause I'm dying to finish this. I'm thinking tonight I start with a little light Halloween decorating. Very light, not that I think it's too early or anything like that. It's just like such a process. And I figure like while I'm cleaning, I can start swapping things out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clear off this table right here and get a little bit of spooky down, just a little bit to get things started. I spy two little boys who are making all of my jobs very difficult today. Excuse me, can I put my stuff in there please? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do with this light, if we're gonna find a way to make it like temporarily Halloween, um, but it's just gonna stay there for now. I put this little runner down. It is way too small for the table, as you can see. So I think it needs something else underneath it. So that's something I'm gonna have to look for because I don't think I have on hand the exact style that I'd like. I had this somewhere else different last year, but I really like it and I think I want it here. So future Halloween hunting Jess, um, look for just a cheap little table runner to go under here. And I did get my tray of ghosts out. I do have to clean these, but I have this one to add to the collection and this one to add to the collection, my little ghost family over here. So I wanna give these a little bit of a scrub and then set them up probably in this corner on the table. I think that's where they were last year. Realizing you guys never get to see how awesome this tray is because it's always full of ghosts. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Pretty cute, huh? Everybody's arranged and cleaned up on the ghost tray here. I don't really have that much more room for ghosts but I wanna keep collecting them. So I'm thinking ghost tray might become a ghost shelf here pretty soon. <laughs> it's like the most Jess thing ever, but it is what it is, man. I also had a regular today at work uh, when she was talking to me about like going through her stuff 
and uh, she's moving soon. And she was like, hey, I have a bunch of Halloween decorations and I don't need them anymore. I don't decorate for Halloween anymore. Um, I have a, a, a particularly beautiful like ceramic ghost. And of course I was like, oh, go on. And she said like, if you want, like you can say no, absolutely. Cause I'm sure you have plenty of stuff, but if you want to like check out what I have, I can bring it to you and then you keep what you want and whatever you don't want, you, you know, can pass along. So <laughs> at some point, uh, I assume before Halloween, I'm going to be getting like a box of Halloween stuff from a regular who's not so into Halloween. She's more of a Christmas person, but her dad was very into Halloween and he passed away some years ago and they're finally um, just ready to kind of say goodbye to that stuff. So uh, I think that's really special that I can like adopt these things, you know, I'm giving it a good home and I'm excited to see what she has. And like, I'm just, I don't know, I'm touched that she would share that with me. So that was pretty cool. I also brought down these pumpkin pillows that were just uh, near <laughs> the ghost tray in the second bedroom, the 2B video store. I <laughs> don't know where they're going right now. I need to clean our Halloween blankets because we have like a whole set of Halloween blankets that get switched out on the couch. I want those washed before like I really set things up, but I figured while I was up there, might as well grab these. And if you think these are cute, they're selling these at, at home still. They're like $12. I love them. I've had them for a couple years. They keep bringing these back. So I super recommend these pillows.